Arthur Kaplan, first to you, you know, when you hear this, and we talked about this in recent weeks, but this latest development that this young woman, this, this dead woman, according to, you know, officials, is now at this other facility, and this thing is still continuing. You call this ghoulish. Why? It is ghoulish because you're basically in a position now where people are running around the country with a dead body in an ambulance mm -hmm. trying to get medical procedures done on a dead body. Brooke, you remember we said earlier, brain death is death. Not only did the hospital say she died on December 12th, the coroner said she died on December 12th. That's what her death certificate says. She's been dead three weeks. And I know the attorney and the family have their views about hoping for a miracle and uh, wishing that this weren't so, but from the point of view of medicine, from the point of view of any facility or any doctor that would do things to this body at this point, purely ghoulish. There's no point. You can't make her recover. Let me come back to this notion of a possible miracle in a minute, but Jeff Tubin, who has the power here to ultimately determine? I thought it, I thought it was the hospital in Oakland, but now apparently you know, that the family uh, w w gained custody of this young woman, this, the body. They then in turn place it in another facility. They're not even naming because the family's gotten death threats. I'm sure they're fearful something could happen at this facility. Who rules on this? Well, if they can keep finding hospitals and medical providers to tend to this dead body, I mean, I'm for, I hate to speak so bluntly, I suppose they can keep moving this poor child around. And I don't want to minimize, to say the least, the heartbreak that's gone on here. But, but let's be clear about one thing. What's going on here is abortion politics. Hmm. This is all about opponents of abortion trying to define life in an ever broader way. A fetus is alive. A Terry Schiavo is alive. People whose heart's beating and their brain is dead, they're alive. That's really what's behind the politicians and the lawyers here. They are unfortunately exploiting this poor heartbroken family, Ugh. but that's what's really behind what's going on. So here. to be crystal clear, if there is a facility that continues to take in this body, there is no higher entity, no higher court who could then intervene and say enough is enough. I, I don't think, I mean, maybe Art can, can, uh, can clarify, but I don't think they're going to get the cops to pull a body out of a hospital that's, that's, that's has exactly this. Right. Uh, Jump in, uh, Arthur Kaplan. But she's dead. I mean. You agree? Exactly right. I do agree. The only uh, hope here is if the doctors and the facilities themselves were to be charged with desecrating a corpse, as long as we're going to speak bluntly, yeah. what they're doing is now slid over the line into where we have laws that say you have to bury someone, you can't dispose of the remains any way you wish. But in all honesty, I think keeping the facility secret is partly to prevent that. I think the politics, as Jeff said, is uh, mounting up here. But there isn't any likelihood that she's going to survive very long because in this state, remember, she's not sort of semi alive, very frail body slowly falling apart, uh, this can't go on much longer. Now